Hey, what's happening, man? It's your boy Papa Duck. Y'all already know what it is. Like, comment, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Hit the notification so you're notified every time I drop a video. Look below. Check out one of them nice sweaters, whatever y'all buy for my merch store. Does go back into the channel to spread our message. Remember, I told y'all yesterday I was going to do a video about Uncle Tom. I did see a few people write and comment about that. And from what we know, Uncle Tom is, you know, a, 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 a black guy acting to be white, a black guy that's turning on his own people, you know, that good guy, that good house, that good house, N I G G A, you already know what it is. That's what we was told Uncle Tom was, a kiss ass. No, it's not what it is. It's actually it's actually the actual um opposite. Um, there's a book called um, Uncle Tom's Cabin. Like I told y'all, it was banned back in the days. If you got caught with that book, you was either put in jail, or sometimes you was killed. And that book sold, sold, sold. I mean, they was running that book. The press was running, 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 day in, day out, selling it. And um, I want to do a video about that. So with no further ado, I want y'all to check out this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all already know what it is, baby. And I appreciate y'all for supporting the channel, okay? So with no further ado, y'all check out this video. Now, the, uh, now, this whole meritorious manumission policy is in effect, moving along at the same time, this control system. About 1852, a lady named Harriet Beach Stover began to want to write about it. So she then wrote about the whole thing. She interviewed a guy whose name uh, was Henderson, which you all know as Uncle Tom. He then told her about the story. She wrote a book called Uncle Tom's Cabin. But in that book, contrary to what most people think, Uncle Tom was not the bad guy. The bad guy was Sambo. And so I'm asking you all as my brothers and sisters, please in the future don't call a black guy who you know is worthless and trifling. Don't call him an Uncle Tom. That's complimenting him. Call him his real name, what he's entitled to, and that's a Sambo. Any black person... <laughs> Any black person sells his own people out and, and, and will do them in, he is a Sambo. Now, what is a Sambo again? Going back to Meritorious Manumission 1710, the whole conditioning process, the whole brainwashing system, the whole social engineering system says that you must teach black people to see eyes, see the world through the eyes of whites. You must see everything through their eyes. You must accept their values, their superiority, whatever they think and feel, and that way you are, we got you contained. And that's why when you see somebody like Colin Powell to my running for office, they say, well, you can run for office if you see the things the way we want to see them. If you want to be conservative, you can run for office. If you want to place a lot of importance on abortion, you can run for office. If you want to talk about being anti-taxing, you can run for office, which means if you see things the way we see them as a black person, you're safe. You're acceptable. And if you don't want to do that that way, then become an athlete or an entertainer. So therefore, you don't you identify with the rest of those blacks in the country. You stay away from them. They're bad. And you start going on. You try to go get a, try to go get a penny out of an athlete and entertain and do something for the black community. They're going to do it. Their advisors won't let them do it. The agents won't do it. Their promotion people won't let them do it. They're going to identify with your community because, again, they have, they have now already died and gone to heaven. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> so, when, so when Harriet Beecher Stowe put out her book, what she tried to tell black folk is that Uncle Tom was not a bad guy. See, Uncle Tom, you read that book, and most black, 90% of blacks never read it. They always call another black, he's an Uncle Tom, he's an Uncle Tom. He's not an Uncle Tom. If you read the book Uncle Tom, Uncle Tom was a guy who would not beat black women. Uncle Tom in that book was a, was a guy who would not beat other blacks to make them pick more cotton. Uncle Tom was a guy who would come in at night and take cotton out of his own bag and put it in other black folks' bags so they wouldn't get whippings at night. Uncle Tom was a guy who would not tell where black folk were hiding when they went across the river and they broke free as slaves. But, but Simon Legree, the white slave master, had a black to follow him around named Sambo, who always says, you show me, give me the right, I'll show you how to trees the coons. I'll show you where they hide. And see, and that's the guy. See, his role responsibility was going back to meritorious manumission. I told you about what you got to protect white folks' property and protect their wealth. He says, I will protect and find it for you. And that's why you read in those in the, in the movies and books that came out after Uncle Tom. You always had a black guy, a black slave, was running down the road saying, Master, Master, here comes the army. Let's hide our silver and gold. 
And you all said, our? <laughs> How did it get to be our? <laughs> you know, he always wants to say something that doesn't even belong to him. And that showed up all through history. And today you got the same kind of personality doing it. And now he's not saying let's hide our silver and gold. He's called himself a conservative. I'm also against affirmative action for black folk. I'm against quotas. I'm against preferential treatment. Even had one running around talking about he wanted to pass a law to stop black folk from discrimination against whites. You still got that kind of personality that always wants to protect something, protect the strong. You always got that kind of Sambo personality. And nowadays, the best way to get rich is to say, I'm going to, I'm going to protect the masters, gold and silver, and I'm going to be against them black folk. I guarantee I can get you a radio talk show. I can get you a television show. I can even get you an appointment to the Supreme Court. Okay. You tell me how many black folk you want to sell out, and I guarantee I'll show you how to make money. Because you see, every ethnic group, every religious group, every racial group, every political group has always made money off of black folk. Okay? And what I'm going to start talking about in Powernomics when I come back here in the fall is to show you all one thing. I'm going to tell you if time is up. You have made, as a race, you made every religion, every ethnic group, every racial group rich. There is nobody else left on earth to make rich but yourselves. <laughs> Yeah, what the lead?